is a dreary, cloudy fall day in Atlanta right now. I do believe that the spring-like weather that we've been having in the last couple of days is in fact gone until next spring. But that's fine because it's that time of the year again when leaves fall and people begin to think about what they're going to get each other for Christmas and make all sorts of promises for the new year which they break in, in the first week of January but such is life I'm here this afternoon smoking and enjoying a pipe outside No, it's not one of my jumbo-sized monsters, but it's one of my more classic-sized pipes, and uh, I, I like having a mixture of large size and small size pipes. It, it's good to have a blend of pipes, no pun intended. But in any event... What I'm smoking here this afternoon is a fine English blend by none other than Pipeworks and Wilkie. And the blend I'm smoking of theirs this afternoon is number 400. And I have spoken about certain other blends of Pipeworks and Wilkie in previous videos. Both how they rank on their own and as compared to other blend makers. This is a full English uh, that they offer. That, that's one of the full Englishes that, that they offer. And I must tell you that of the eight samples that I had ordered from VT Pipes or Pipeworks and Wilkie, that's, but that's the name of their website, which I'll post right here. Um, this is the fullest that I've sampled so far. Uh, I've thus far, I've thus far tried uh, their English blend, which is designated as number 78, which I think in my previous vid I said it was very spicy. Um, I haven't tried Hi Hat yet, and I haven't tried. Uh, best make yet, but I have tried Pipe Maker's Choice, and thus far that's my favorite of, of the English blends that I've gotten so far from them that I've tried. 400 I first sampled last night. On my back deck, I got done with work and I wanted something, you know, fuller. And I tried it, and upon lighting it, I immediately sensed that it was similar to Northwoods by Boswell. Now let me say this. Smoke Rings Pipe Dreams made a video not too long ago where he more or less likened pipe smokers to uh, baby chicks, in that when we stumble upon a certain blend, or pipe, or what have you, that we really like, that's the first of a certain type, we can sometimes fall into the trap of making it the default benchmark or threshold by which we judge others in that same type or genre. Which is, which can be a very good thing because you'll have a basis of comparison and which might be, could be a bad thing because you may wind up unfairly comparing one to the, the other instead of trying to judge it on its own merit. Uh, so you have to strike a balance. So that being said, I think I'll take the freedom of comparing this somewhat to Northwoods, but distinguishing it in that Northwoods is very rich, creamy, silky, and has a certain brightness to it. 
when you first light it up. That settles down is kind of stays a little bit bright though. Um, 400 is somewhat like that. Uh, not perhaps quite as earthy as Northwoods. But very, very close. Very close. It's a very good um, full English. It, it, it will serve you well after a full meal, uh, which I had last night. I'm trying to work mm -hmm. off. This has a nutty flavor to it, perhaps more so than, than Northwoods. Um, unlike Westminster, that to my palate starts off a little bit peppery and spicy, and then comes down. This one is has no peppery or, or spiciness at, at all, and if it's there, it's very, very restrained, subtle. So, that being said, uh, my favorite full English is still Northwoods. Uh, that to me is still my my benchmark, my litmus test by which all of their full full Englishes are judged and compared. Um, but Pipeworks and Wilkie's full uh, uh, 400 full English is a very very similar smoke. Maybe lacking one or two small areas, but it's almost there. Um, maybe to give you a better spectrum of uh, where I would rank this, I would put Northwoods first so far, in, in strictly in terms of full English, not not you know mild English or anything like that. But in full English, I would I would put Northwoods first, and thus far I would put uh, Pipeworks and Wilkie 400 round number two. Uh, with Westminster coming in a very close third. Um, these are all excellent blend makers. They're all, you know, very skilled at what they do, and you know, they they cater to different tastes and and what have you. But uh, that's how I rank it right now. Uh, number four hundred by Pipeworks and Wilkie is very good. Um, if you want to, if you're currently on North Woods and want to get onto something maybe a little bit slightly, ever so slightly less earthy than Northwoods or less smooth and silky, this I think would be a, a good choice if, if you want to um, try a different type of full English. If you wanted to go to say a medium bodied English, I would probably rec recommend uh, Boswell's Countryside uh, or uh, Sunset Harbor Flake, which, which is a Balkan style. Is excellent, or maybe Frogmore and Across the Pond. But in terms of full English, 400's a pretty good blend. And again, I've spoken too much because my pipe is out. Pipe smoking weather. You gotta love it. So that's it from Cloudy Atlanta. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the uh, comments that you posted on uh, whether inmates in jail should be allowed to smoke. Um, I expected that you know different people would have all sorts of opinions, and uh, it's true. Uh, th there are some that think that they shouldn't at all. There are some that think that uh, they should, and there are some that even think that they should have it occasionally. So, you know, thank you very much. Stay out of jail so you can smoke pipes. And so you won't need my help. And until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And remember, I will present the evidence. But you be the judge. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.